Hola, como estas? Estoy bien. Talking Tommy, coming at you from Halifax, West Yorkshire. Welcome to the Balcony of Love. Back out here. Sorry it's been a while. Just been busy with one thing and another and you know, I'd like to say it were a busy Christmas, but it really wasn't. Um, it was quite a quiet one this year. Same with New Year. Quiet as ever, just as I like it. But the weather has been atrocious. And my studio's been out of action. So I have not been able to make any videos. As much as I've wanted to, and no doubt that my wonderful subscribers have no doubt wanted to view them, there's just not been a opportunity to make any. So, without further ado, I will get on with the housekeeping. I am smoking Capstan Gold, and I'm smoking it in. A Torben Dansk and I believe this um, particular shape they call a grid I think I'm not sure I can't remember um, but this range of pipes we do they um, are all named after characters in a folklore tale maybe Beowulf I can't remember Anyway, it's not important, that's not why I'm talking to you. Today has been the first day where it hasn't been raining so far in 2016 in Halifax. And I thought, if I don't do it today because I'm off work, if I don't do this video today, I might never get it done. And that is my top five tobaccos of 2015. I'm going to do a couple of honourable mentions as well. And of course, my shit list. So, the top five are in order. So, I'm going to do descending, ascending. I'm going to go 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 5 being, you know, bottom, 1 being top. You know what I'm saying. That's how I'm going to do it. So, we're going to ascend. So, number 5 is the bigger brother of what I'm smoking now, which is Capstan Blue Flake. Absolutely superb for that. If you've not smoked it, I urge you to do so. It's a fantastic straight Virginia traditional uh, traditional navy flake. Absolutely sublime. Um, definitely going to be in my all-round top ten uh, forever. I would say it's absolutely fantastic. I don't think you can get much better than that say that but moving on to number four Samuel Garwith's St James Flake now I first tried a sample of uh, a couple of years ago now 2013 it must have been and I was still very much a novice and I could not get the bugger lit I could not keep a flame on that tobacco however I put it in a jar and left it, forgot about it and then I lit up a bowl in springtime last year and I was amazed about how good it was once it had dried out um, because as we all know Samuel Garwith for some reason likes to um, completely over moisten their tobaccos it wasn't really possible to smoke it first time round. Um, but I bought 50 grams of it 
in bulk, not tin, about 50 grams of it loose. And that was much better to begin with. And it's cracking smoke, it really is. If you like your Virginia Perique blends, it's really good. So, number three. Dunhill Deluxe Navy Rolls. Now that, again, is probably going to be my top 10 tobaccos of all time, forever, until the day I die, I'll be in there. I've not yet found a sort of coin cut tobacco that compares. Virginia Perique, um, I think there's a sort of light casing. Um, it's very nice, naturally sweet. You get a great sort of grassy hay kind of notes. But also a little something else, it's, it's quite sweet, but it doesn't um, bite and it doesn't uh, shy away from a nice bit of body, so yeah. Number two, another completely new one I tried in 2015. Jermaine's Rich Dark Flake. Now, there's quite a few of the uh, Jermaine's manufactured blends under the label of Esoterica in the US that you just cannot get over it. I mean, it's hard enough to get them in the States. You can't get them over it. Some people manage to get lucky and get them online, have them imported over here, but no, nah, you can't get them. However, from what I've tried of Jermaine's tobaccos so far, I mean, I've only tried the three. Special Lot like Akea Flake, which is awesome. Um, Plum Cake, which is awesome. Um, and Rich Dark Flake. And as far as I'm concerned, if you can get Rich Dark Flake over here, you don't really need to bother with the rest. Rich Dark Flake is absolutely sublime. Absolutely sublime. Very sweet. Um, but very full flavoured, very satisfying. You smoke a bowl of that, you know you've had a bowl of good tobacco. It is absolutely excellent. Um, and number one, top spot for me, um, probably my favourite tobacco ever actually. This is going to be my rotation for quite some time. Um, and it is also probably going to be my top tobacco pretty much forever I think. And, Unless they change the recipe, I can't see me ever disliking this tobacco. And that is Dunhill Flake. I absolutely adore that smoke. Absolutely adore it, I think it's fantastic. Again, first tried it, 2013 I think. Got a sample, didn't like it. Just, just couldn't smoke it, just, I don't know, it was... It was weird, it tasted really strange, but I thought it, I thought it tasted spicy and really quite, quite ashy. Um, since then, um, I decided to revisit it. I bought a tin from Greens of Leeds. And it was fantastic. Um, it was like a completely different beast altogether. Now whether that's my ch taste have changed or whether the fact that that tin was a had some age on it already because I checked the code on the back and I dated it to 2012. So that could have something to do with it. But I took that tin with me to India, smoked it within the bomb. A week and a half, I probably, yeah, I'd say about a week and a half and smoked a full 50 gram tin, which I have never done before with another blend ever. And then, when I was in London back in November, I went to the Dunhill shop, bought a tin there and then, and smoked it in the Dunhill shop. Not a full tin, obviously, but um, had a ball. Again, fantastic. Check the code from 2013. Um, and I've got another tin in, I've still got that tin open, and I've got another tin in the cellar. It's already from 2013, so I'm just going to get a couple more years on it, I think. So, yeah, 
that is my number one. Got a couple of honourable mentions here. They're all absolutely fantastic tobaccos, but for one reason or another, they didn't make it into my uh, top five. Number one, first one is Reba Plug. Now made by Gowith and Hogarth. Um, River Pug is really nice. It comes in a long black bar. Um, usually a plug is a bit more compressed, it's more like a little brick. But that one is quite a long bar. Um, it crumbles really nicely, holds its moisture well, holds the light really well, it smokes really well. The only reason it's not in my top five is because it is rather strong. I'd say it's full strength and for that reason I just can't smoke it often enough for it to warrant being in my uh, top five but it is a fantastic tobacco um, the next one of the honourable mentions is John Sinclair Highland Sliced you may have heard me talk about this before but it's sublime it's absolutely fantastic tobacco the reason it won't make my top 5 for 2015 is because I first tried it in 2014 and it got discontinued I think in 2014 but I managed to um, find a few pouches and I've got them in a jar now but because it's pretty much gone there's no point having it in my top 5 um, the last one of the honourable mentions is Peter Stockerby's Irish Slicers. Now, first time I tried that, I didn't like it. I, mean, I first bought it because I thought this will make a good replacement for Highland Slice, perhaps. So first time I tried it, I was a bit oof. Ah, what's that? It was spicy. It was strong very strong um, but I gave it a week tried another bowl no better following week had another bowl better still and it just went on from there it just got better and better and better however I am led to believe it is now being delisted in the UK and so again I don't think um, supply is going to last very long but if you can get hold of some Irish slices give it a go I think it's really nice I and mean, it's a fine tobacco um, maybe you can get it in Europe or the US I don't know but the UK market probably not for much longer so that just leaves us with the shit list okay We'll get this one off with pretty quickly. Um, these aren't in any particular order because I can't say that I disliked one more than the other. I just thought they were all pretty shit. Uh, the first one is Blue Ridge, uh, which was um, one of the last OTCs I did, and it is fucking awful. Don't buy it. I mean that, just don't buy it. That is actually worse than the UK version of Free Nuns. It's terrible. It is the worst tobacco ever. It's just disgraceful. Number two on the shit list is Craven Aromatic, which again, it's just, it's just dreadful. It just really is. It, it smells okay in the pouch. Um, the Craven Ready Rubbed. I wasn't expecting big things, um, but I'm happy to say I was pleasantly surprised. It wasn't that bad. It wasn't great, but it wasn't that bad. Um, I thought, oh, that's surprising, that. And then, Craven Aromatic, I thought, oh, maybe, you know, maybe it'll be better than I expected it to be. It really wasn't. It smelled nice in the pouch, but, nah. Again, acid. Acrid not very nice burn rate was through the roof um next one on the shit list is peterson irish flake so yeah where do i begin with that um first time i tried it it wasn't too bad and i think i did a first impressions video 
Um, it was okay. Um, I thought maybe it'll get better once it's had some air time. Tried it again. No. Not very nice. Give it a third crack of a whip. No. No. It, it was like... I don't know, it was... It wasn't ashy, it was just... There wasn't any flavour to it that I found. I didn't find any flavour to it. Um, it wasn't the strength that put me off, because I don't mind strong tobaccos. But it was just... I don't know, it, it just left my tongue feeling a bit... Eh, a bit like... I feel like if I'd gotten drunk and smoked 20 cigarettes, it was just a bit... Ugh, it's a horrible sort of chemical taste in my mouth afterwards. I just really didn't like it. Um, and last but not least, it wouldn't be a shit list without... Um, <laughs> the mother of all shit tobaccos. And that would be clam. Um, it really is not worth the money, is it Clan? I know some of the old boys will go, ah, Clan's a fine tobacco. It's not. It's not. It absolutely is not. It smells alright. Smells good. People compliment you when you smoke and go, oh, that smells very nice. Is that a really good tobacco? And then they're really surprised when you say, well, no, it's not. It's Clan. It's not a good tobacco. It's it's shit. So, yeah, there you have it. Those are my top five, my honourable mentions, and my shit list of tobaccos for the year 2015. So this is the first time I'm smoking this pad. I have to say, it is an absolute belter. I highly recommend Tob and Dansk pipes. They are made for Dan Tobacco. They have their own range of pipes. And I tell you what, I paid like 54 euros for this pipe. It's nothing. Absolutely nothing. It's just good quality. Capstone Gold, first impressions. It's nice, I really like it. Very similar to Orlick Golden Slice, but a little less fruity. It's more honeyish. I get a bit of a honey note from it. It's quite similar to maybe McFarren's Navy Flake. But less aromatic, it's more Virginia. -y. Anyway, I'm banging on now. So with that, I'm gonna get off. So thank you everyone who's stayed the distance and actually watched this video. Um, take it easy. I will catch you all again very soon. And until then, thank you very much. See you later, take care.